should be a good one, I think. Yeah, this is a very typical one. And again, this is just a question of what are the character choices going to be here. Base has Eagle, you know, he's got a, a Shadow Jago, he's got right. a Jago of his own, he's got the Spinal, Nikki with the entire cast as well. Yeah, both of them play so many different characters, and so it, that is truly the question, right? Like, what character are you going to select here? You know, who are you most comfortable with? We'll have to see. These two. This is like a match I've seen so many times in this game. This is a, a classic. Yeah. It's like the past, the present, and probably the future. It is, yeah. No, this is definitely... I, I would have liked to see Fulgore and Spinal, selfishly, of course. Yeah, the classic match. I don't think we'll see Fulgore into the Spinal, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Unless he's forced off of it on a counter pick or something, but... Riptor. Ooh, Riptor. Wondering if this is what Nikki is going to go for here. I mean, this does. This is a pretty good counter, I think, to a lot of bases characters. And this is a character that I think that Nikki. I'm going to be honest here. I think that Nikki is like the best Riptor I've ever played. Yeah. I think that his Riptor specifically, he really understands how to keep it simple with the frame trap game. He doesn't. You know, Riptor. She's got a lot of crazy stuff. But I think the best thing for a Riptor player to do is to just play the strike throw game and then move from there. You could kind of start mixing in the things later, and that's what he does so perfectly. This is such a frustrating matchup for Spinal for that reason, because he doesn't have that conventional reversal, so the pressure from Riptor, Kilgore. plus that jumping heavy punch, so hard to hit here. Yeah, wow, Kilgore. Kilgore Riptor is our start of the Grand Finals. Very interesting. Yeah, that's definitely not what I was expecting to see, but Base does have a really good Kilgore. It's not something that you commonly see in tournament, but it, he has one. Very, very good space control with this character. Yeah, here we go. Grand finals of our exhibition here at EVO 2023. Thanks, everybody, for some, making some noise out in the crowd. Hopefully, everybody at home has been enjoying all the action so far. We have a robot with uh, machine gun arms versus a dinosaur as our match. It's also worth noting that Kilgore runs on gasoline. Yeah, I love which that. Which is one of my favorite facts about him. Yeah. They could have made, like, another, another robot that's, like, you know, hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of both, right? More friendly for the environment. Oh, missile's not going to hit there. A little fireball on the border, but nothing too big. And so far, Nikki not been able to establish much in neutral, which is, you know, Riptor a little bit weird in the neutral a lot of times. Yeah, base is just going to try to cut the nonsense on the but Nikki is not having it. He just runs up and headbutts anyway. Oh. Nice bait on the reversal there, and that is so much damage. That is a 17% opener there from Riptor. That's one thing I like is we already saw the Predator Stance pressure early on. Goes to the throw. Big pop. This is going to be big, actually, yeah. It's going to hurt. Let's see how much damage we can chuck out on this fence. Both shadows. Tons of damage on that. And he's going to get so much distance off of that as well. He's heated up in this instinct, but he's going to still get the same distance. He's retaining all the distance of his normal uh, character archetype. Oh, I caught the jump there, yeah. Got wide hips, got clipped by the uh, projectile there. Oh, Ants here on the shadow. No, it doesn't reach. Oh, but no punish. Nikki's starting to put his pressure on base, not having it with that reversal. Nikki breaks the combo and gets a mortar set up off of that as well. Oh, neutral jump too, and then that's going to be the wall splat into the throw. Very nicely done there from Nikki. Wow, that taunts again. Taunts have not stopped. And then neutral jump, heavy kick, try to check. Goes for the, the uh, stance light kick, try to get some plus frames, but base is out of there. I love that little side switch there. No punish on the reversal there. He's just too far away. Oh, base the throw this time off the plus frames. Knockdown, border action. And the teleport away just gets him out of the setup. Going to go for a missile knockdown setup here. Nice anti here, but I think that's going to trade. He almost got a combo off of that. Yeah. That recapture had so much plus frames, actually, even after getting hit. Jump heavy kick. Oh, it's going to be an anti here. here. Yep. Nowhere for Riptor to go, so good damage on this. Missiles are out. Cross up oh on the other side. Oh my god, that was filthy with that cross up metal ball. Oh my god, that could have been it. This is it. That's it right there. Huge damage all on that startup cross up right there. Let's the ultra rock. You gotta think about it. This is the second Kilgore Grand Finals. I love the salute. <laughs> the salute at the end, the taunt. The second Kilgore Grand Finals that we've seen in recent memory. That's true. Back at CB, yeah. Dude, I thought that was Riptor and it was Kilgore. Like, <laughs> that noise with me. I was like, is that a dinosaur? Character select it is. So Nikki now has a chance. So, okay, I goes. You know, somebody wins, then we see what TJ. character select TJ. There's no way. I like it, though, because TJ does have an invincible role. The role is invincible to projectiles, and Nikki has been working on this character lately. I like that he's willing to pick him in this situation. Why not? 
see the flex out there. Dude, I love this uh, TG outfit, by the way. I'm a big yeah, fan fire. of this one. This one's great. Yeah, this is the old one. Nobody ever uses it with the eye patch and the ripped yeah. up shirt. It's so fire. That's a good little outfit. Dancing around Star. Let's look for the back fist, yeah. Trying to see if base is willing to swing there. Nice, look at the corner carry on this too. The power line ender for the wall splat. Dash jump, heavy kick. And man, this pressure is tough to deal with. Yeah, that reversal there from Kilgore is almost like a little spot dodge, and Vase did that because that target combo juke that Nikki is doing is plus on block, and Nikki baits that immediately, putting Vase in this really, really scary corner situation. And if it's one thing that TJ is not lacking, it is damage. Yeah, he, he hits hard. Damn it, the taunt right after, too. And he even had the Neander on that, too. Throw, missiles, throw again. We're going to see a reversal from Nikki. I like the roll bait there from Vase. Oh, punish though. And Drake on the heavy knee, ready for it. Oh, raw power line. Raw power line is one of the scariest neutral tools in this game. It's definitely terrifying. Yeah, armored advancing dash bunch. Oh, a heavy bunch roll pick up there. I like it. Oh, good check there on the post combo breaker mind game. Oh, wake up jab again. Yeah, this is, this is so terrifying to deal with, by the way. He's so incredibly fast. Everything combos. Oh, didn't break the right strength. That's going to be Shadow. This damage is going to hurt. Double Shadow. This should be enough. That did so much damage, and I love that combo. Shout out to Devil May Care. That was a Devil May Care combo right there. Uh, you know, when he saw TJ, I bet you he was so happy at home. Yeah, no, because this I this was like probably the one character pick from any player on the stage that I was really not expecting to see, yeah. and it's working out for Nikki. Right back to character select. He's like, all right, all right. Spinal, dude. Spinal it is. Bad matchup for TJ. That's yeah. a tough one. You just see the rotation back and forth, back and forth, but base is up a game, which is the big one, right? So he wins this one, it can go 2 1, then Nikki can counter pick, etc., back and forth, back and forth. Oh, yeah. Counter picking always favors the one on the lead. That's a big here. All right, so spinal it is, locked and loaded. And we got the theme and everything. This stage is so sick. I would love to see a stage over on this stage with the wrecking ball. Yeah, the wrecking ball in the background. Very good. I'll throw early and pressure now for Nikki. You gotta stick to him here, right? This is the goal, right? You oh yeah. Get out. No cancel right there. That's a big drop. And the breaker early from Nikki rolls in, tries to find it, but base ready with the down jab check. That jumping heavy punch is so oppressive right? when it comes to TJ. His anti-airs are so awkward. That turnaround punch too, and the counter break. That's huge. And he's just going to go for the uh, damage ender there. Oh, oh he drops it. it. Yeah, didn't get the around the world. Unfortunate. You get everything. Uh-oh. Gets the cash out after anyway. That shadow. Uh-oh. Anti-air sword. Yep. And the shadow counter. And he's oh, going to teleport out. Soul Let the plus. skull hit him, too. Oh, this pressure in the corner is so hard to deal with. I don't know if Nikki's going to try to roll here. That doesn't commit to it. The power oh line just clips God. him. I like the combination of him just throwing the power line, punching Spinal in the chest, and then him just dismantling right there on the stage. Yeah. Rolls up. Other side again. Lightning this time. And a break arrow's ready. Okay, those are tough to see, the TJ combinations. Ooh, a check hit. there. Nikki tried to go for the overhead, or base, rather. There it is. Gets huge damage on that 40%. Oh, and the command grab. Doesn't get a follow-up after, though, but really good spot here for Nikki. Activates overhead, wow. and that's going to be Ultra 2-1 on the counter pick still. Nikki the GOAT, TJ. And the dance on him, <laughs> and the taunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, tournament point here for Nikki with TJ combo? What is going on? We're running it back immediately here. Yeah. Putting the pressure on here in the corner, getting the curse on early, making it hard for Nikki to build meter here. Back this old oh, punish on the throw if again. And the knee, no break. This is going to be good damage once again, usually. Nikki looking low. Base trying to find some offense. Those yeah, those pains every time. Tough to deal with. Finds the shadow counter this time. Very, very smart. Good option to contest that pressure there. Oh, and let it rip. He's going to wow. absorb the whole thing. Gets the skulls, gets the punish. That was such a big call out there go for the uh, power devour on wake up like that. Knockdown ender too. He already saw the jab out, but he doesn't 
do anything about it. So Nikki, the first life bar again, still hasn't popped instinct. He's gonna get a free roll through that and a punish throw. Nothing after though. Oh, and he lets the Shadow Ripper get stuffed. A little too far, I think. No roll great there. Jumping. Crouching medium kick. Great catch. So far away. Oh, it's so fast when he's in instinct. The overhead links after a little drop, but yeah, that'll probably do it. Not much you can do there. It's yes. a pretty bad spot for TJ. So gonna build up some resources. Base has curses right now on instinct and meter right now. This is gonna be really tough for Nikki to get anything going unless he gets these curses off of him. Oh, teleport, nice block from Nikki, and he went for the command grab, actually. I kind of like that check, but base was ready for it. Full pressure, run. Yeah, the run pressure off the heavy punch, too. Let's the shadow rip, and that's a punish. Big damage here, base keeping the corner. He's gonna go for an up skull. Right oh my god, that's so hard to deal with. Should be close, and he gets the breaker. One last chance here for Nikki. Back to the next. Oh, he caught a counter hit. No Big, way. A little bit of a drop. Oh. The shadow counter. No. Oh, he didn't oh get the ender. God. Oh, my God. That was a scramble, but it worked out for base. Now, the big question here is on the tournament point. Does Nikki stay with TJ? I, we're probably going to see a character swap. Yeah, character swap. Now, he gets his choice of counter pick against Spinal. Spinal. Saber Wolf. Interesting choice. Nikki's got a really good wolf as well. I think there's been a lot of debate over the game's life on who wins this right. matchup, but I think most people think that this is actually a hard matchup for Spinal. The crouching light kick being plus on block, no recovery, blows up the teleport. Yeah. It can be tough when Wolf gets started. Yeah, and I, I think historically that's kind of been the way for, like one of the things that's really hard for Spinal to deal with, especially when he, w when he was weaker. Wolf was so much stronger, you know, and then the game's changed oh, yeah. a lot since then. But. Look at this, blending into the stage background, the color to Wolf on this. Yeah, that was like the Smug Classic. Smug used to play that blue Dudley on the That's snowy true. rail yard stage. He's a cheater. <laughs> Just takes the damage ender and yeah, crouching light kick, biting the ankles, goes low with the crouching medium. Bad spot, no bait, or uh, no uh, throw, but doesn't fall with the bait, no anti-air. Wow, what a bait on that uh, Shadow Eclipse there. Is he gonna go for the side switch here? Yeah, I like that. Keeping the corner here. Lots of pressure. Oh, back dash. That was such a perfect back dash there from Nikki. Well, run slide and then immediate break or neutral jump threatening that teleport. This is big now. Medium break again. Nikki ready for the doubles. And the heavy kick, manual too. Oh nice. Try to get over with the dive kick, but it doesn't work out. I like it. Oh, and that skull hit. is gonna cover him there. No feral cancel there. Yeah, this should be it here. Cleans up, hits the ender. Little scary, a little bit of instinct left. Let's out the howl. <laughs> God, I love this character. You gotta let him know. Instinct out for Nikki. About to have some shadow. Yeah, I love the harassment with the back heavy punch. So plus on block. Not easy to shadow counter. And no break right there. A little, little miss time. So a good opportunity here for base to build some resources. Reset here. But Nikki has Wolf Dash, so he can get out of the corner. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. In between round is so huge in KI, just, especially because you just get the move. Tried it again. And Gotta say, a lot of these shadows have been called out from base so far. Wow, the double dash through. Gets the throw. Overhead this time. Crouching heavy kick with a manual. On the wall. Dash through other side. Shadow. This is a lot of damage already. A little drop though. And a chance for base. This is huge. Slide under. Punish. The skull's gonna hit. He oh, off what a confirm. Tries the run. Lock out. That's huge because of the shadow here. And a breaker, oh man. Nikki is one confirm away from closing this out, but so is base. Uh -oh, oh, oh my god, god. That's it. it! And that should be the ultra, there you have it. Nikki, our Killer Instinct EVO 2023 Exhibition Champion. Oh, the pop off too. Let's go. I don't know what he's saying. I don't either, he's saying, damn, I'm nice, this game is sick, let's go. Top one, I think that's what he said. Top one broken. <laughs> yeah, Wolf it. top one. You saw it. GG's well played there from Nikki. Stayed in winner's side the whole time. And played that super, super well. Fun little exhibition here. We appreciate everybody coming out. Not only checking it out in person, but of course, everybody watching at home. Very nice of you as well. It was really nice of Evo to have KI here on the stage, right? The main stage on Friday. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm glad that we got to show this game out in some shape, way, or form. Yeah, you know, and the other cool thing is like, everybody loves KI. People are still supporting 